This reckless rant brought to you by Bet Online, your number one source for all sports this betting season. Every sat, every matchup, even live odds and spreads while the games are being played. Hey, when the game's over, head over to the online casino, get in a game of blackjack or poker, or unwind with one of the 150 slot games. Use promo code Believe B L E A V, and you'll get 50% free bet credit on your first deposit up to $250. Bet Online, the game starts here. All right, it's time for a reckless rant because that's what EA Sports wants us to do. More rankings being released. I've said for basically three months that EA Sports is doing a fantastic job gaining publicity and taking advantage of the hype for this game. And they did it again on Wednesday. Check out the top 10 players in the new video game. Now... I don't know how many people really care about Will Johnson and Will Campbell, but Michigan cornerback Will Johnson, the highest rated player. Will Campbell, LSU left tackle, 96. Now, Ollie Gordon at number three. I know he's been in the news for other reasons. I absolutely love it. If you're going to win at this game, you take Ollie Gordon, you run him 40 times, and you lead yourself to victory. Same things with James Pierce. Now, going down this list, I think what's apparent is that there are so many good defensive players in college football this year because in addition to those four, you have Caleb Downs, you have Travis Hunter, you've gotten Malachi Starts, you've gotten Mason Graham. Defense doesn't win championships anymore, but just enough defense does win championships. So I think the overwhelming sort of theme here and takeaway here is that there are going to be a lot of teams that have just enough. And if they can get enough offensively, then they're going to be really, really tough to beat. Now, Michigan with their two guys in the top five, I don't know. We still got to see what they do at quarterback. But you look at Caleb Downs in that group, when you combine him with offensively with Quinshawn Judkins, they're going to have just enough offensively as long as they get good quarterback play. I don't know if Will Howard's it. In fact, I've said many times that I don't think Will Howard is it. If I'm wrong, or they put Julian Sane or somebody else, Devin Brown back there, then they may be just fine. And speaking of quarterbacks, they released their top 100. There are eight quarterbacks in the top 100 in EA Sports top rankings for the video game. Carson Beck at 93, and I think a lot of people would say, hey, you know what? 93, that's probably where Quinn Ewers should be because I don't know Quinn Quinn Ewers is just the second highest ranked quarterback in terms of Heisman Trophy odds. Nope. Even with Carson Beck at 93. Shadur Sanders. Shadur Sanders. Listen. If you want more proof that EA Sports is doing exactly what it should in terms of building hype for this game, that's it. In no planet, in no way whatsoever, is Shadur Sanders equal to Carson Beck. None. Now, if you create a player and you add some attributes to him, sure, maybe he can be. In no way, shape, or form, Is Shadur Sanders even comparable to Carson Beck? But yet, EA Sports capitalizing on that search engine optimization and getting everything it can out of Colorado Buffalo's quarterback. Look, we talk about clickbait a lot, right? Like that's a a common term for that, that people use when they just don't agree with what you have to say, but whatever. This is clickbait. Because there's not a person in the world thinks that Carson Beck and Shadur Sanders are the same guy. But good for EA Sports. They're doing a great job. Just uh, for the sake of breaking it down. The rest of the top eight, Dylan Gabriel at 92, Quinn Ewers at 92, Milrow at 90, Jalen Daniels at 90, Jackson Dart at 90, Caden Salter at 90. Now, if I'm going to have one more beef with this, and you know what, since this is a reckless rant, I am going to have one more beef with this. Quinn Ewers and Dylan Gabriel should not be ranked equally. We've had Chris Plank on my show quite a bit, and I do shows with Chris Plank on SiriusXM. 
he is ingrained in that Oklahoma radio coverage. He's the lead softball voice. He's on the sidelines for football. And he has said to me multiple times that Dylan Gabriel at Oklahoma was better than average, but he's not somebody you trust at an elite level. At Oregon, can you trust him at an elite level? I still think the answer is no. Can you trust Quinn Ewers at an elite level? The answer is yes. He got Texas to a national semifinal. Damn near beat Washington in that national semifinal. I think people forget that. And went to Tuscaloosa, beat Alabama by double digits. Double digits. And then I don't want to play woulda, coulda, shoulda. But in 2022 in Austin, Quinn Ewers hadn't gotten hurt. I believe Texas would have beaten Alabama then, too. Look, Dylan Gabriel's a good player. He's all right. I get it. He's good. He should be on this list. He's not equal to Quinn Ewers. Not at all. But again, what EA Sports has been doing, they've been doing a very good job of it. They are capitalizing on hype. One of two things here and there that they know will go viral. And good for them. I think the one thing to keep in mind when all of this is said and done, all of these rankings, all of these player rankings, all of these stadium rankings, all of this stuff are subject to change. And they've mentioned that. But still, Shadur Sanders equal with Carson Beck? You are out of your mind, EA Sports. This reckless rant has been brought to you by Bet Online. Get every stat, get every matchup, live odds, and spreads while the games are being played. Use promo code BLEAV, B L E A V, and you'll get 50% free bet credit on your first deposit up to $250. Bet Online, the game starts here.